Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and I wanted to put out a really quick video about um, the journey that anybody who's listening to this video is taking. All of us are uh, actively engaged in making people aware that we have been betrayed by the International Atomic Energy Agency and by the Nuclear Regulatory Agency and by our own Congress with their lackadaisical attitude towards the harm that is being caused by radiation. Um, I have been mulling this over the last few days thinking about watching the media shape what they're telling us about St. Louis and I mean the issue in St. Louis is gigantic. There's a fire there. It's less than a quarter mile away from the nuclear pollution that happened at uh, the Manhattan Project. People were moved into that area without even being told they were living next door to a waste dump site. I mean, the collusion, the corruption is off the charts. And the lack of regard for human health and human life is just a spotlight is being shined on it. But bigger than that is how this is being framed as if it's not that big a deal. I mean, we're seeing the news media come out every single day telling people, yeah, don't worry, the government's going to tell you what to do, and it's fine. You're not that. Don't worry about it. While the genetic mutations that have happened, the cancers there, the problems, the physical problems, everybody that's had in that area is being summarily ignored. But then again, they have to summarily ignore it because if they acknowledge one, then they have to acknowledge all the genetic mutations from all the nuclear power plants all around the country. That's a lot of betrayal. A lot. It's not just betraying somebody for money. It's causing people harm. It is serious treason. Serious, serious treason what these people have been perpetrating on every single person in this country. Um, and the denial. I mean, it is outrageous, the denial that is going on. I mean, we're expected to watch the Dumb and Dumberer show and try to listen to Marco Rubio talk about something while not one of them mentioned Fukushima. I mean, people act as if Fukushima is over. Let's just get clear, folks. Fukushima is not over. And we're called haters. We're called fear mongers. We're called hysterical because we keep talking about Fukushima. Well, fuck yeah. Fukushima has three nuclear meltdowns. One nuclear power station was at number four that was holding the spent fuel rods. That's a complete catastrophe. It's about to collapse. It's been almost five years, folks. Jeez. Does anybody in their right mind think that that fucking disaster can just go on like it's been? No, it's not going to go on like it's been. You know what? I survived severe child abuse. I got therapy in my earlier adult life and I continue. I still get therapy. But I mean, I had to get some serious help so that I could like not want to kill myself. I worked hard at wanting to live. The level of betrayal that I feel is double. Because I fucking worked hard to want to live. And now, the level of betrayal, like at every level, our whole fucking, every person in Congress is now colluded. Because like Cynthia McKinney, if you, if you don't go along with the program, you get kicked out of Congress. So it's either play or go away. So if you don't play their game in Washington, D.C., and you don't participate at any political level, then you're out of there. And that's how it works. I mean, I got a good taste of that right here with the Democratic Party right here in Eugene about six years ago. They did not appreciate what I had to say about the Democratic Party, even though I was a Democrat. You know, I'm posting this video because I really want to encourage people to have fun. <laughs> I mean, seriously, we need to just have fun. Because guess what? They're going to fuck us all along the way. Every time they can lie to us, they are going to lie to us. Look what they've done in St. Louis. This should be a national catastrophe. This should be something that is sounding the alarms. We should have all of our military focused in there trying to help clean it up and relocate those families. But they're not. They're not. They're not. They're not going to do it. They're going to let people die, let children get sick. 
It is betrayal, be it betrayal beyond betrayal. And it is important for us to choose to be happy, folks. This is why, like I talked to you about learning how to do EFT so we can do some tapping so to change the way we feel about stuff and find something to do every single day that makes your heart happy other than just watching television. You know, I know I like Survivor, <laughs> but that's not just the happiness I get. You know, like I play the piano. I juggle. Uh, see that art project? I'm about to start an art project without Ackerman. I love to paint. So there's things that we can do as human beings, and there is value. It doesn't matter if it ends up in a big fucking museum. It doesn't matter if anybody sees it. What matters is that we fulfill ourselves, that we find our own mission. You were drawn to my station on purpose because I don't know why. I have no answer why. But we all have our own mission. We all have our own path. And we're intertwined. We're one unit. We're a seam of one big gigantic energy of love. And what the perpetrators do is they try to break us up and break the love up. And so it's very important that we continue to talk about loving each other and continue to love ourselves and love ourselves enough so that we can love our families and love ourselves enough so that we can share ourselves with people and love ourselves enough so that we are willing to risk being incorrect sometimes or not understanding something and communicating it. I mean, honestly, I'm new to this whole act. Frankly, this whole activism thing kind of annoys me. Like, why the fuck do we have somebody, a magnificent human being like Mimi German out there or Libby Halevi spending the last 20 fucking years of their lives trying to whoo, put the alarms out telling people that nuclear is bad? They have been working their asses off for 20 years and getting nowhere because, boom, the hammer of the law slams down on anything that they want. And then they have guys like Chuck for Oregon Physicians for Social Responsibility out there dining and schmoozing and being a Mr. Smooth Guy. And I'm going to talk to all the regulators and I'm going to get to know everybody. And we're going to ease them into understanding it. No, stupid dumb fuck. No. They're not going to understand it. They're going to keep blocking any change that you want because of the 90% rule. I mean, until people start talking about the 90% rule, we're not going to get anywhere. The 90% rule, as outlined by Dr. John Goffman, is the nuclear industry 100% of the time denies radiation causes harm and underreports the negative effects by 90%. Percent, which means 90% means they are lying. They lie about the harm that radiation causes people. They, our government officials will tell us nuclear is safe. Nuclear is not fucking safe. What we have been forced to accept is the acceptable limit. Acceptable limit means 32,000 cancers, 225,000 cancers per year for every two rads of radiation in the air. Now, we have about 17 rads average in the air right now. That's about, what, 100,000 cancers? Actually, more than that, 200,000 cancers. I don't know. A million and a half genetic defects. At least every year we're accepting that because they don't want to shut down the nuclear industry. And you know the reason they don't really want to shut down the nuclear industry, you guys? This is really the answer. If you look into it, this is the thing that makes me the most angry. They don't fucking know how. Do you know the Department of Energy has less than $10,000 budgeted for the safe shutdown of nuclear reactors? They have no money to help us learn how to shut down the nuclear power plants. They don't know how to handle the harm that is caused by it. They don't know where to put the storage. They don't know how to stop a problem, a leaking problem. 
They do everything on the cheap. They're storing our fuel waste in half-inch thick containers when in Europe they're storing them in 18-inch thick containers. Thank you, Donna Gilmore, for finding out that fact. It took a scientist, it took a retired IT person to find out that information and inform the people at the NRC of the inadequacy of their storage units, which the NRC is still allowing against logic. The NRC is the only agency on the planet that I can think of where you get rewarded for lying and manipulating. Although that's probably not true. Probably in the CIA you get big money for that one. So this is, I mean, I just needed to share this with you guys. I'm really frustrated about what I see going on at St. Louis. The demonization of the people in St. Louis who are really concerned, that's freaking me out. The idea that the government in St. Louis is going to be telling people, don't worry, we're handling it. And those children already have genetic defects and birth defects. They already have leukemias off the chart, rare leukemias, rare cancers. None of that's being accepted and acknowledged. That's the 90% rule. It's extremely important for us to decide to be happy, folks. Love is greater than fear. And if we love ourselves, we're going to be honest about this. We're going to be honest that the nuclear industry has got to stop. We're going to be honest. It is the most critical, urgent thing that we have going on. Although maybe Dane Wigington is right. Maybe the chemtrails is the big thing. I don't know. Like they're fucking bombarding us with shit where we're just trying to survive. This is an assault on humanity. We are being assaulted. The entire planet is being assaulted by the people that are in control of the power source. So, you know, I don't have all the answers, but this is just a shout out to people. If you have ideas where we can organize, you know, we've been begging for this for a while. You know, all of us are probably like, I am. We see the problem. We recognize it. We haven't got a fucking clue how to stop it. Mimi German, Libby Haledi have been spending their lives trying to stop it. Donna Gilmore spends way too many hours. She's retired. She should be retired. Having a beautiful life down there in, in San Clemente near San Onofre. But she can't because she's living next to a dump site. A nuclear waste dump site that is... If they have an earthquake in California, they're fucked. In fact, the entire West Coast, in fact, the entire continent of the United States is screwed. I mean, you know what I do? I do tapping. I juggle. Juggling makes me happy. I like juggling. You know, I'm not a great juggler. But I like it. It's fun. And so I do it. And that's what I encourage people to do. Find something that you think is fun. Um, if we don't stop these people, we are definitely headed for an extinction level event. Uh, it is an extinction level event if we don't stop them. These people are freaking sociopaths and they don't care about us. You and I are useless feeders to them. They could give a crap. You think a single one of those Republican candidates could give a crap about us? Do you think Monsanto Clinton gives a crap about me or you? Absolutely not. Do we believe that Bernie Sanders has a chance of, even if he got elected, of doing even one quarter of what he says? Probably not, but he might push back. But the sad fact is, Bernie Sanders is not going to get nominated because Monsanto Clinton is going to steal the elections. You know, so we're pretty much screwed. The United States of America is not united and we are not America anymore. We are the United States of fascism where the Unpatriot Act rules. People are thrown into jail. The cops are killing people. You know, people live in fear of being spied on all the time. The world governments are 86ing the government of the United States out because they're sick of being spied on and betrayed. Our country is now feeding weapons to the enemy. We, who do you think fed ISIS? Who do you think created ISIS? You know what ISIS is? Is Israel. 
Why do you think ISIS hasn't attacked Israel? Because it's Israeli forces. It's an, the whole fucking thing. I mean, all the, these plans are not hard to see through. You don't have to be a fucking rocket scientist to see the manipulation of it all. And really, part of the plan is to make us unhappy so that we don't do anything, to make us feel afraid. Why do you think they arrested Dana? The long arm of intimidation. Fuck them. I don't know about you, but I am not intimidated. And in fact, I'm not even unhappy. <clears throat> I mean, I really, I'm not unhappy. I'm not depressed. It doesn't make me, I mean, maybe it's because I'm 60 years old and I've already lived a life. But I'm not unhappy. I figure I'm going to live another 30 years and I'm, you know, I'm going to have to l live through the aftermath of what we're living in right now. We haven't even seen the worst of it yet, folks. So those of us who are going to survive, we got to figure out mechanisms to be happy and to be content. And you know what the contentedness is? Is knowing that we are saving the planet. Knowing that we are going to be the tsunami that stops these people. Just like the tsunami that stopped Fukushima Daiichi, we are going to be the tsunami that stops the nuclear cartel. And frankly, the technologists. And that might mean that we have to live without not all constant this machine, constant electricity. Because you know when the systems go down, me and you, we're not going to have this stuff. You know, uh, us average people, we're on a need-to-know basis. And guess what? We don't need to know. And they've got their whole, I guarantee you, they've got a whole entire separate network for when the World Wide Web crashes. They just plug it right back in and they're good to go. And we'll be the useless feeders. And... <clears throat> Anybody in America who thinks that, that we're special and they wouldn't do that to us, think again, because they're already doing it to us. We have over 800 people being killed by police officers in this country. 1,500 for the year, I think. I just had to put this video out because I am just feeling overwhelmed by the uh, manipulation. I can see what's going on with, with St. Louis. I came into Fukushima late and now... With St. Louis, it's the beginning of it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I am stunned. So, I just encourage everybody to put your courage feet on. Take action. That also makes you happy. Figure out what kind of actions you can take. I still think we need to poke them in the eye and call those elected representatives because they have the money. They have the power to make the NRC protect us. They're just not doing it. And we need to force them to. I don't know. I don't have any answers. As you can tell, I'm rambling here almost now for 20 minutes. Uh, I just need to get this off of my chest because, honestly, we need to hang together. And we need to decide to be in love with each other. And we need to learn to ignore the trolls, the paid trolls, the people that call us malicious, horrible names. We need to ignore them. And we need to learn how to use these new spying laws. Like Dana got himself into trouble because he hadn't paid into the C, paid attention to the C-51 laws in Canada that got passed a few months ago. It is perfectly legal for them to arrest Dana for calling somebody names. That's a serious offense in Canada now. In the United States, there's certain things that we cannot do ourselves. Like we cannot use the word that starts with T word on the Internet. I would not ever use that word. You all know what I'm talking about. I mean, right now I know for a fact that my videos are being spied on. My camera spies on me. I mean, we just have to stick together. I refuse to let them get to us. And um, I hope I didn't go on for too long. Maybe I'll cut this in half. But put your courage feet on, you guys, and decide to be happy. Because love is greater than fear. And there's a lot more to love than to fear on this planet. We have a billion people on this planet. Each one of those people is deserving of love. So... Ciao, you guys. Take care.